You're going to want to take a right up ahead. How you doing, pal? I hope I wasn't disturbing you. This is a bad time. I'll come back later, but this is pretty important. Name's Andrews. Hugh Andrews, but folks around here just call me Old Hugh. It's a pleasure to meet you. I mean that. A real honor. Oh, yes, I know all about you. World famous hunter. Used to do some work for Wilderness Rescue, that group that travel around the world and defend folks from the world's most dangerous predators, right? Real heroes, all them folks, always willing to put their lives on the line, even in the face of certain danger. Tell you what, I've got some information I'm supposed to pass on to you, and nobody else. Urgent stuff, news about a good friend of yours, and some folks who are in a terrible danger. But it's always been a dream of mine to hunt with a fella of your caliber. Maybe we can go shoot a few rounds, and then I'll tell you everything you need to know. What do you say? How about you take me out and show me some of them skills of yours made you so famous around these parts? By Jove, we've clearly got a great team together. Now let's get to Siberia and take care of that bloody bear once and for all. There they are, Mr. Benedek. I guess we're not as far ahead of them as we thought. They could get to the bear before we do. We better get a move on, shouldn't we, boss? Not to worry. That village has been victimized by wild boar attacks. My adversary is tediously consistent. He'll do what he always does, and go after the boars, giving us the head start we need to bring down that monstrous bear. Oh my god, you did it! Nice work, my friend! Uh, 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 he says, great work, sport, jolly good show. Uh, at least I think that's what he said. By <laughs> god, it's the Yeti! What are you doing, man? Taking on the Yeti single-handedly? Are you mad?
Get on good, kid. That was some darn fine shooting. Guess now you're probably wanting that information I promised you, huh? I'm warning you, it ain't good news. It's about your old friend, your old hunting partner, Bill Lewis. What's that his wilderness rescue buddies nicknamed him? Oh yeah, Bullseye Bill. Well, Bullseye Bill's missing. Something went wrong on his last expedition and nobody's heard a word from him since. Uh, that's all I know. Overheard some fella saying Wilderness Rescue is looking for you, cause if Bullseye is missing, chances are whoever he was rescuing still needs saving. So, I guess that's it, eh? I'll have to figure out what happened to your friend, aren't you? Probably be too much to ask to help somebody a little closer to home, ain't it? See, that's the reason I came looking for you. My niece and nephew went camping not far from here, and now they're missing too. I could really use your help, pal. I guess you'll be taking off now on the trail of Bullseye Lewis. Now, if it were me, I'd try to find Bullseye's old guide. I reckon his guide's gonna know more about Bullseye than anybody else, except maybe for you. But what am I doing giving you advice? You probably got everything figured out already, don't you, buddy? Excuse me. I'm guessing you're the one who chartered the flight to the African bush. I'm Abigail Pendleton. You can just call me Abby. Well, I suppose we should get moving. I was told you were in something of a rush. Oh, don't worry, it's actually sturdier than it looks. Uh, most of the time anyway. You know anything about this village I'm taking you to? It's the home of Kamisi Akuna. He's pretty famous around these parts. Supposed to be one of the best hunting guides on the planet. Second only to some bloke in Australia. Kamisi used to hunt with Bullseye Bill Lewis. And if you know anything about hunting, I'm sure you know about him. Of course, I hear Hamisi hasn't been the same since his last expedition. Heard something bad happened there. You better buckle up, pal, and hold on. It looks like we're in for a rough landing. You are too late. I know who you seek, Hamisi Akuna, the great guide, guide of famous hunters. But Hamisi will not see you. Hamisi Akuna cheat death, and now death hunt him. Bad spirits follow him. They seek to destroy Hamisi's home, this village. The spirits take the form of lions and attack us. Amicia's wife decided to fight back. She went into the bush to silence these devils once and for all. But we hear nothing of her since. Now we fear she is lost too. You want to talk to Hamisi? Find his woman. Save this village. No, stranger. No guns. This is holy land. Gunfire already enraged these beasts. You must face the lions in the way of our fathers and our fathers' fathers. No gun. Only bow and arrow. I cannot thank you enough, my friend. You saved my wife, and you saved my village. Bullseye Lewis used to tell us stories about you. I thought he was exaggerating, but I see now that his stories were true. I guess you heard about Bullseye Lewis. That's why you're here, isn't it? To find out what happened. We were in Siberia on expedition. But I don't know much more than that. It happened too fast. A roar and slashing claws and then screams. <laughs> Terrible screams. When I woke up, everyone else was gone, including Bullseye. I suppose you're planning on going after whatever it was that killed him. 
and maybe you even thought you were going to talk me into going back as your guide. I couldn't go back, even if I wanted to, even if I was able to. You're not the only person determined to avenge Bullseye Bill, you know. Your other old hunting partner is forming his own expedition. Dimitri Benedek, uh, that was his name, no? Bill told me he was a crack shot, but he liked to take shortcuts and didn't particularly care if he broke the law or killed endangered animals. Dimitri Benedek makes his money poaching these days. Some of his men are in the valley right now, killing elephant for ivory. There is no doubt in my mind, they're the reason the lions attacked in the first place. Put a stop to those poachers, and you'll certainly slow down that creep Benedek. Well, you stopped the poachers. But you weren't in time to stop their boss. One of them said Benedek had business in India. Maybe you should head there and investigate exactly what that crook is up to. Godspeed, my friend. And be careful. Hold on a minute, chap. No need to be hasty. I'm not one of those low-life poachers, if that's what you're thinking. I just thought I might salvage some of the supplies they left when they absconded into the night. I'm part of the group that helped run those nasty blighters out of here. Wilderness Rescue. Maybe you've heard of us? A worldwide rescue organization. We're the good guys. Wait a bloody minute. I recognize you. Cor, you used to work with Wilderness Rescue. You and Bullseye Lewis. Why, you're a legend around here. The name's Dowling Sport, Reginald Dowling. You can handle the trank gun, can't you? Well, come on, let's get moving. So, your plan is to go after the brute that took down Bullseye, is it? Good show! Bloody shame about his guide, Hamisi, isn't it? Still, nice to know he's not your only option. There's a geezer in the Australian outback, they say, can track a newt through a monsoon. Aboriginal bloke, name of Wiraki. I don't suppose you speak any of the Aboriginal languages, do you? Well, it's a good thing I do. I'd happily offer my services as translator, but there's one last thing I need to take care of for wilderness rescue. A child went missing not too far from here. It's come down to me to find her, and soon, to Australia. I want you to meet a mate of mine. We're Racky, best bloody guide on the planet. We're Racky, slow down. It's me, your old pal Reginald Dowling. Remember me? Oh, uh, you're talking a little fast for me, chap. Come along then, he says to follow him. Hmm. Well, Wiraki is either inviting us to join some of his tribesmen for a giant delicious crocodile dinner, or he's saying that some of his tribesmen are lost in the outback and about to become a giant crocodile's delicious dinner. You know, chap, you should volunteer to save those tribesmen. Might be a good way to get on with Racky's good side. Your guns. You're coming with us. To watch me in my moment of triumph. The bear cave is up ahead. And I plan on blowing that monster to kingdom come. Oh, I'm sure you think that's cowardly and uh, unsportsmanlike. You've always been foolishly preoccupied with fair play. Whatever gets the job done, that's my motto. Do you mind? I am trying to... I'm trying to... Bear! Oh. You said it, Wiraki. No doubt this is the bloody beast that brought down your friend Bullseye Bill. Nice work. To be honest, I wasn't sure if even you were going to get out of this one. Phew! 
I could use a nice long vacation after this. From the looks of things, you could too. Dowling here? Yes? Uh-huh. Oh dear. I see. Okay. That was a contact at Wilderness Rescue. It seems a party of biologists were attacked in the Amazon by a monstrous anaconda. An unkillable anaconda! Looks like our vacation will have to wait.